this uh, wonderful array of paintings. Center for the Fine Arts director Jan Vandermark today gave critics a sneak preview of the center and of its first show entitled In Quest of Excellence. And that became the very emblem of the exhibition. We put it proudly on our catalog, we put it on a poster, we even have put it on sweatshirts. The sweatshirts are not on display. More than 200 works of art are, representing the best that could be borrowed from 60 American museums. From ancient and prehistoric pieces to the frantic energy of the 20th century, almost every kind of painting and sculpture is represented. But the unifying theme is the artist's fascination with the human figure and the human face. Renoir's Girl with a Fan, The Girl with Green Eyes by Matisse, One Mamselle Pogani by Brancusi, A Young Woman by an Unknown French Painter. These are treasures never seen before in one place and that could never be replaced. The exhibition is modestly valued at between 70 and 80 million dollars. But in fact it's irreplaceable so you can't really put a dollar value on no, it, can it's you? part of our heritage and uh, any uh, valuation ends up being a guessing game. Florida subjects and Florida artists are also represented in this show. This exhausted Miami Dolphins player was done by Dwayne Hansen, who lives in Davie, and the model was Miami artist Bob Teeley. You really don't need to know much about art to know what you like. You'll find a lot to like when the Center for the Fine Arts opens on Saturday morning. Michael Putney, News 4. Tomorrow, Miami makes its grand entrance into the world of art. The Center for the Fine Arts previews its opening exhibit. The center's origin goes back to the decade for progress bond issue passed by voters in 1972. A portion of that bond money was earmarked for a central library. Another part of the money was for a historical museum. Other dollars were destined for a visual arts museum, all to be built at different locations. Today, all three facilities have been combined into the Fine Arts Center on West Flagler Street. Its architect, Philip Johnson, today got an advanced peek at the opening exhibit the Quest of Excellence, which is sponsored by American Express. It will be open to the public on Saturday. Two people deserve particular credit for what has been accomplished. The county manager in 1972, Ray Goode, who convinced the library and museum people to combine their projects at one central downtown location. Goode pulled the center together. The second person is the then mayor, the late Jack Orr, who conceived the Fine Arts Center. He had the vision and daring. A salute to Ray Good and Jack Orr. Thanks to these two men, Miami can never again be called a cultural wasteland.